Hey guys, final game here. This is going to be the last game of the divisional round on Sunday night. Sunday night football. See who's going to the AFC title game. Let's get into it. So, we have two teams here. This is the same teams we've always been seeing for the fifth consecutive time. In the divisional round, we'll see the Chiefs versus the Bills. For the first time ever, we're seeing the Chiefs go to the Bills. This is going to be a good game. Um, if you have been watching for five years, these games have always been in the Chiefs' favor. Always at home. Refs, flags, you know, the famous 15 seconds. Josh Allen's famous drive down the field just to have a return. The famous overtime call. All these games have ruined the Bills fans. Uh, like the Bills had the famous four, the four, famous four fall, four season falls, where they went to the Super Bowl four years in a row, in a row, and lost. Which I feel so bad for the Bills fans. Like I, I know what it's like to watch your team lose the Super Bowl. <laughs> Hashtag Bengals. Um. But these Bills have come a long way. They've beat this team before. But anyway, uh, stat line, these teams both played really great in their wild cards. Bills probably better. They handled it better. But at the same time, Chiefs, Chiefs finally showed up after weeks of looking like they aren't the Super Bowl contenders. Now, either one of these can go. Either It could go either way. It's 50-50. Like Chiefs are finally on the same page. Kadarius Tony is out, and that for some reason made the Chiefs just kidding. We all know we all know that made the Chiefs better. But yeah, Stephon Diggs stepping it up. Like he didn't score at least at like, but when there was nowhere to put the ball against the Steelers, he got open, and he got open a bunch. He was able to get that 76 yards. He almost had 80, but you know. Pass interference is uh is a little little turd, but you know can't win them all. But I don't know. Josh Allen has a lot of great weapons on his offense. Mahomes has a couple. <laughs> uh, it's really just the run game, and then you got Kelsey. Quite like he has two great backs. Josh has two good backs. James Cook is amazing. Dalvin Cook's brother. And then, uh, I don't know. This defense of them Bills is finally playing up to par. You have DeMar Hamlin coming in, which is amazing. It's good to see him back. I talking about him earlier. And uh, the review, the recap of the wild card. I, I love seeing DeMar come back on the field. But, like, when we look at it, like, you're looking at the Bills hosting the Chiefs, which is a first. So this is going to be interesting. There's going to be zero... Chief favoritism, hopefully. We, you don't know, the, the refs might sneak back into uh, <laughs> uh, into Buffalo Stadium again. I don't know, dude. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see. I, so, Chiefs had an amazing game against the Dolphins. They, they beat the Dolphins, but so did the Bills. The Bills didn't beat them by much. The Chiefs beat them way more. But this was also Bills playing them at Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, the Chiefs beat them in their own backyard in the cold. So I don't know which one's tougher. Being on the road trying to beat them in a healthy condition. But yeah. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I mean, the Bills won the game basically on a punt return, but I don't know. The uh, the Chiefs uh, Chiefs won the game so like they actually look like them old selves. Mahomes is playing at his high elite level, and then you have Josh Allen playing at his high elite level. Let let let's get into it. I want to see. I want to remind everyone of the stats last week. Now the Bills weren't playing a top tier. They were they were just basically playing. 
uh, washed up. They're they're playing washed up Steeler defense. If it was Kenny Pickett, it would be a different story. It would probably be if the Steelers were healthy. It'd probably be a 21-24 scenario, like just coming down to the wire. Like the Steelers were able to still keep it to the wire with a small lead. Like it was still 14 points. It was just a two-score lead. It, we all know two score leads in this league are unsafe, especially in the playoffs. But you have Josh Allen going for 203 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, 21 of 30. Which, which if you look at that, that, that's pretty good. But then you have the Chiefs. I got to pull up his stats. 262 yards in the cold with wind. Negative 23, windy, 23 of 41, one touchdown. So, and I don't know. So it's more yardage. So you, you know, with his O-line now, it, it, Mahomes is getting rushed a lot. So he's got to throw the ball quick. So I'd say, stat-wise, Josh Allen had an easier game, but Josh Allen was also playing in the cold with the wind. Not not that negative twenty three, but he was playing in the heavy snow. They 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 wiped it all off the field, but still a factor. They're still throwing snowballs at him. So both had to deal with the cold. Josh Allen's playing at home. He has the advantage. Like he just played one the week before. You know he wants another win against the Chiefs. They played before. Josh Allen played horrible against the Chiefs and still came out with a victory. He was throwing interceptions. Mahomes played like Josh Allen in that game, too, and had a little fit. So, if I don't know. It depends on if we have little fitty Mahomes or if we have little fitty Mahomes. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to keep that. But we can also see... You can all see the Mahomes last night. Mahomes won a Winnie Mahomes, which is no one likes Winnie Mahomes. Like we don't need another. We don't need another Chiefs Super Bowl win. We don't need that. We don't want to see another Kansas City. I don't know. I kind of like. I like to see their matchup: Bills versus the Ravens, or Chiefs versus the Ravens, or Bills versus Houston. I feel like the Bills would win against Houston. Chiefs, I feel like they would struggle against Houston with that defense. I don't see the Chiefs getting past that defense. I don't know. It'd be it's it'd be very interesting. Cause either team could host Houston. I feel like the Chiefs would only win due to due to calls. But basically it's going to come down to the better QB and then it's going to come down to flags. Because both teams and interceptions, because both teams have been known to throw interceptions. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Bills because they're at home. You know, Josh Allen just wants one win over Mahomes in the postseason. He doesn't care about that regular season win. That means nothing to him. He wants this one. He's at home. He's got to prove he's the dog. Mahomes is going to do the same thing. He's like. I'm I'm four and zero against this guy. There's no way I'm going to lose to him. There's no way I'm going to lose to him at his home court. I have to prove I'm that dog. So it's going to go back and forth. I'm going Josh Allen. He's just a better QB. Uh, he's been playing great. He played amazing. I feel like if he had more time, uh, he would have done better against the. Steelers, but he, he already did great. It was just, you know, he just wanted to milk the clock, which is smart, especially against the Steelers. So, this game, like, he, he almost beat the Chiefs before last year, like, when they were going to the Super Bowl, or when the Chiefs advanced the title game. Like, he was slinging it at home. I don't see why I wouldn't be slinging it at his home, too. And then it just depends on the weather, too. Actually, it doesn't. Both these teams can handle the weather. Like, you don't got to worry about the weather. I feel like Josh Allen's going to show up, though. So, I'm giving it to Josh. Mahomes, this is 50-50. Honestly, I'm going to say, 
with the advantage the Chiefs have, it's going to be 60-40. But I'm, I'm picking the Bills. I say 60-40, Chiefs over the Bills. But I'm picking the Bills. I feel like they got the home advantage. That's all they need. You know Josh Allen wants this win over over my homes. I want to see him win over my homes, dude. I, I don't want to see. I don't want to see another AFC title game. I don't want to see another rig game. But it's gonna be interesting. Here's the man right there. It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, I did turn off music because last time we got huge copyrights uh, strike, so no more music. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. Uh, I almost, I almost, I almost saw it. I think I should just end the Chiefs' career, right? Just end it. So first and ten now from the thirty. Just end it. Come on, Josh. A play fake to Singletary. End it. Now it's Allen. End it. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's gonna get this down to the thirty-five. I hit catch versus speed. I don't know why I did that. That's some early fireworks on the first yeah. play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw. July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. Touchdown, Bills! And I think that's how it should go against the Chiefs. I'm just saying. I, I mean, we, we just want to see Bills Mafia win. Like, there's no way. We need the ESC, another Brittany Mahomes or Taylor Swift. This game is going to be electric. Everyone's going to be ride or die in this game. Um, I feel like there's going to be... A, I want to see the Haley Steinfeld and... Actually, correction. Haley Allen versus Taylor Kelsey. I would like to see that combo. But anyway, I'm going to go... I'm going to Josh Allen. Over my homes. I'm happy about that prediction. Uh, I'm, if you want to be smart, I'd pick the Chiefs. Pick the Chiefs over the Bills. If you, It's going to be a 60-40 over, over Buffalo. But I'm going Bills. Bills Mafia, baby. Like, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm not a Bills fan. But I have so much respect for them after the crazy incident last year with the Bengals, uh, Bills, debacle with DeMar Hamlin. That was just an awful, traumatic experience. But I met so many great friends because that who are Bills fans. And we all we all actually got together after we we all prayed for DeMar. Like I have great connections with him. I still talk to him to this day. And I met him a year ago. That's crazy. Actually no, a little over a year ago. Because that was early, early January. But yeah. So, actually, no, that was a, was that December? No, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. I know it was the second to last game of the season, so it's got to be January. That's crazy to think about. But anyway, um, I'm going on Bills. I want to see them win over the Chiefs. I, if I see the Bills win, they'll have beaten, they beat the Steelers. They beat the Chiefs. If they beat the Ravens and go to the Super Bowl, and then beat the Niners, dude. That was that's the greatest story I could ever hear. I will root for the Bills over the Cowboys any day. Because that is exactly what I want for the Bengals to beat all those teams and win the Super Bowl. And if the Bills can do it, I'm gonna root for them. Because that is the dream the Bengals fans want. Beat the Chiefs for for the Bills. Help Jamar's dream come true. If you guys don't know, Jamar Chase has asked everyone to be the Chiefs. I want to see anyone in the Super Bowl but the Chiefs. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can't I can't blame Jamar. I'm with Jamar. Let's go, Bills. So anyway, who day? I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy enjoy these games. Enjoy them. And I hope you guys have a great night. Take it easy.